our big day of basketball on BTN from Simon Scott Assembly Hall, the final non-conference test for Arkansas and Indiana. And how good was that? Davis on. just ran right to the block, and there was they couldn't get their defense set. Dean triple try attempt, and the bank is apparently up on here on push off. They do it right in front yeah. of the official. <laughs> how about right in the face? That was with the somebody right in Devont his face. Devontae Green now starting the last four games here for Indiana. And another triple try. That one falls for Joe. Right, you just, you got to get up on him. The last time he drove the ball, that's what you have to make him do. How about that? Mentioned that he's coming off of a 21-point game where he led Arkansas back-to-back -back games with 20-plus points. Checking his feet. And it's good for Durham. That's a two. And Jimmy Witt Jr. with the basketball is a guy. He, he doesn't shoot threes, but he's got to get involved offensively. And Jimmy Witt is a graduate transfer as he knocks down the jumper. That's kind of his range. He won't attempt. He hasn't attempted a three all year, but he will hit the mid-range shot. Oh, what a pass there from Finnessy. He checked in. Clean up job from Jackson Davis. Wow. Does he still? Up top to Mason Jones, maybe the one player who can take him off the bounce, and that's the three for Desi Silva. The turn they of the second need half, him. But he's, the holiday break has been good to him. Jackson Davis with the finish. 14% before that game made 4 or 5, and they don't win the game without it. No, they don't, literally. Oh, how about the body control and one opportunity Here's for Mason maybe Jones? The only one on this roster who can consistently take you off the bounce. There's an open look. Jackson Davis. Sorry, you're going to lose with that shot. If you give Jones that shot every time down, you're going to take it. Here's Franklin, the mid -range. He's really a smooth offensive player. Just because his shooting percentage from three hasn't been good, he has done an awful lot of things for Indiana, but he's a very good offensive player. Just a matter of getting adjusted to the college game. You mentioned he hit four threes for the season going into Notre Dame. The story is that he hit four threes in that game. There's the response from Witt. He's one for five from three for the season now. Stills with a runner into the lane. The lefty finish. And that's really hard. Joe was on the mark, but it popped out. One point, Razorback edge. Here's Thompson. Now, Lisa, I'm not sure you want to put that one. Here's Witt. Again, getting Anderson up in the air. Nice job by Anderson. Look out. Look at this. Jackson Davis on the transition. That Boy, he he but because of that, his numbers are depleted. Oh, it's up. About three and a okay. half minutes now. Here's Bailey. Taking it inside. We'll get his miss. Three bounces he has in the race back so far. Tennessee to Brooks. The tip won't fall for Jackson Davis. And Arkansas on the push. Joe with the quick trigger. He hit. That's where Arkansas is really up. Crowd was anticipating another dunk, I think. Davis was a little bit off balance. Another nice pass by Brunk, though. The transition there for Witt. Seven here so far. Harris to chase for the clock. He's at 10. Now it's at seven. Bailey takes it inside. Bailey's still fighting for it. Cheney. And that's exactly what I'm talking left. about. Well, what a battle going on inside between Finnessy and Jackson, or excuse me, Cheney and Jackson Davis. But Finnessy is wide open. Got a couple seconds here to work with. Here's Joe from the corner. Just off her end. Shot clock. They got to get Jimmy Witt Jr. much more involved in the offense. Yeah, you felt he would be big. You said that he'd have to shoot around. How about Jones taking the three and making it? Back. Two for eight shooting from back there. But he's a guy who's getting very, very hot. Here's Green trying to get hot. That's a start. Yeah. I'm sure Archie Miller will feel more comfortable as they stretch out the lead because, remember, this is an Arkansas team that can get very hot very fast. That's one way to do it. Just and like Joe, that. Yeah, out of the time. Out. Yeah, yeah, Joe Joe is just a sophomore. Here's four on the shot clock as Green fires. That's his third three-point make tonight. Arkansas's defense has not been bad, but they can't score. That'll help. Joe can score. That's what you call a deep three. Yeah, and that and that's Justin Smith running it down. Smith into the lane again. 
Smith gets this off touch and his first bucket of the time before you get to Franklin. This is where Arkansas, I think, has to get down the course quickly. Joe's had the hot hand, and he continues to shoot with fire. Jackson Davis lost it. Here's a two-on-one. Green doing a good job breaking it up, but somehow it's on the hands of Jones. A reset and fire. Take his own shot. Right, now Green started the half very well, but maybe doing a little too much now. Oh, boy, Joe. He's feeling it. Green light the second he crosses half court for Isaiah Joe. Here's Smith. Big basket. But it can be a little confusing as to when the flop occurred. Jones from up top, dropping it down as Cheney avoids yeah. the block of the hands of Anderson. Doesn't have the numbers. He'll kick it out to Tennessee. To Green, who has taken that three-point shot, and he's made it four times to Tennessee. Jones on the post. Jackson Davis has been quiet in the Indiana defense that they would like because the big guys for Indiana have done a great job. Tennessee dropping it down to Brock, muscling his way in. Again, when they can get the ball that close to the basket, Arkansas is basically helpless. Nothing scoring run silencing the crowd is Jones going baseline. He has actually been really good against the Arkansas defensive pressure. Not turned over, but they do Not right that there. Not Joe passed it up. Don't see he, that too often. No, he didn't have his feet set. Yeah, you know, Jones really didn't have his feet set either. But he goes off to what? Tennessee Franklin, our, our perimeter players, and the way they control our offense, the way they can feed guys like Jackson Davis that will equate to a success this year. There's a corner three from Sills. That's a big to Joe. Defended this time by Green, and he pushes him off to Jackson Davis. Just that time with a step back for the two. And that's not Joe's game, but he'll take it. Back still looking for their first lead of the second half. Eight to shoot. Joe slipping the pass. The kick out here to Jones for three. He hits. Arkansas has its first lead of the second half. Boy, that is great patience Over five and a half in counting for the Razorbacks. Looking to improve to 11 and one for the first time in a couple of seasons. Here's Jones. He hits back to back. And that, that whole offensive sequence was Jones dribbling the ball until he finally shot it. 11th out of 14 teams in the SEC. A few seconds away from perhaps improving to 11 and 1 to start the season. And Lisa, it's not too early to start talking about NCAA tournament resumes. This would be huge to win this game on the road. Green can't get it. Second chance here for Indiana. Time's running out. Now time is run out. You said it, Dan, a really good win for Arkansas. Pick one up on the road in Bloomington and to improve to 11-1 on the season.